He's blunt about this. He's not a celebrity, he's a songwriter. James Blunt is back, turning memories into music. I will always be in a club with you in 1973. His debut album sold over 11 million copies, but he ditched any pressure to match that with this new one, All the Lost Souls. You think about uh, what inspires you musically and, and your need to express yourself through music, and, uh, and it's not the one millionth or two millionth copy that really counts, it's the very first copy that I hold up and whether I like it. This sensitive songwriter leaves his emotions out there for the world to take. To listen to a James Blunt album is to read his diary. It is an art form, it's an art, um, and so in doing so it has to contain emotion, um, be that you know, a celebration or be it melancholy, it, should, uh, it needs to feel something. That's the whole idea of music, is to take you on some kind of emotional journey. He's been labelled anything from the king of romance to the prince of pain, but according to James, it's all smoke and mirrors. I wrote t uh, two songs about, uh, about relationships on my last album and eight songs that were to do with nothing, uh, nothing related to that whatsoever, so I suppose I'm 20% romantic, 80% failed romantic, which would be an exam, a pretty uh, amazing failure. Nevertheless, he's been linked to a flock of of famous beauties from Lindsay Lohan to Paris Hilton. But as for confirming the rumours, I had to settle for charm. I'm a really cagey about my private life just because I think I sell music and I don't sell my private life. So, I, so I'm not going to respond. Thank you. But I'll give you my phone number. <laughs> okay. Before finding freedom in music, James was a NATO peacekeeper in Kosovo. And after recently going back, he's vocal about what was left behind. We assured them uh, certain guarantees in the long run and, uh, and we actually just stepped away from that. And, it, uh, and I went to whole villages that were now deserted uh, and people were uh, cleared out and gone. You, you don't quite know what would have happened to them other than the fact that we had given them assurances that we'd protect them and we didn't. Well, James continues to deal with life through music while showing us we're not all lost souls. Sky News Showbiz. Available anytime, anywhere on your mobile, Sky News Active and podcasts through skynews.com.au.